How you all doing out there? Jason C. on the set of One Tree Hill, sitting next to the big guy over here, James Lafferty. How's it going, man? Good, good. good? How you doing? Good, good. Thanks for inviting us to your set. Absolutely. Having a good time here. I'm glad to have you. Season six. Now, I've heard, I've been on the red carpet with uh, Chad Michael Murray, and he said this season is going to be a little darker. Mm -hmm. Can we start talking about that a little bit? Um, yeah, I think for, for some of the characters, um, there, are, there are a lot of uh, you know, dark sort of things going on with their, their arcs in the story mm -hmm. in general. Um, I think that you know, everybody's sort of gotten a little older and problems have gotten a little bit more serious, and, and, and you know, life has gotten a lot more complicated for, for everybody. And uh, you're going to see a little bit of that, I think, come through uh, in, in story in the sixth season. Right, because five, you start off with a very dark storyline. Yeah, it, which, you know, compared to last season, compared to last season, this season it isn't as dark for me personally. Uh -huh. But, um, you know, in, in thinking about what everybody else is going through in the show, it, it definitely has taken, you know, sort of a, a, a pretty serious turn. There's a death, speaking of the dark season. What can you tell me about how that's going to affect your family as well? Someone very close to you. Yeah, it, 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 it impacts the, the Scott family um, a lot. I think more so than, than any other family or, or unit on the, on the show or in the story. Mm -hmm. um, because it's somebody that has grown very close to the Scott family, both you know, to Nathan and Haley and especially to, to Jamie. Right, right. And so um, that episode actually in dealing with that I think is one of our better ones that we've ever shot. So I'm oh, pretty, really? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. excited for that. In fact, I, um, I heard that eventually you're going to help Jamie heal his wounds by sporting the cape. Yeah. That he's wearing. Have, have shot that uh, we haven't shot that actually. I'm actually excited for that. It's a pretty cool little story, and it's um, you know I always I'm a big fan of the the, the father son arc and, and the way that Nathan has really really grown as a father and has sort of stepped up and has been a role model and also sort of you know Jamie's hero and right. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. that's fun for me to play and it's going to be uh, sporting the cape is going to be it's going to be a good time. Yeah, Jamie's gotten to see both sides of his dad. I mean, mm -hmm. all the way down, you know. Yeah. The bottom and, and rising to the top again. Yeah, and I think there was a time when Jamie was, you know, scared of his father. He uh -huh. didn't know what to think. Mm -hmm. And um and it was a really there was it was at a really important time in I think the character for you know, Jamie's growth that Nathan was in a really dark place. Right. And the fact that he came out of that and is now a great role model is uh it's pretty it's pretty redeeming and pretty nice. great to play. When you guys get those scripts and you see, uh oh, this good friend of mine who I've been acting with is no longer going to be on the show. I mean, mm -hmm. you've been in this now six seasons. Yeah. That's got to be kind of hard, right? Because you make friendships. and you know. It is, and it's shocking, especially when you don't see it coming. Um, right. Because I had never, I didn't know that that's what was going to happen. Writing. Yeah, <laughs> and, you know, so I opened the script, and, you know, at the end of the script, I see that, you know, a, a big character has died, and, you know, yeah. I'm shocked, and I, I call, you know, him or her, you uh -huh. know, uh -huh. uh, my friend, and I sort of, like, ask, you know, what happened? What's going on? And, yeah, right, right. Um, it's it's really interesting, but you know I think that for the show, it really is it provides for some great story, mm -hmm. and, it and it really is a catalyst for a lot of change in the characters' lives as right, right. as the show progresses. So it's not just killing a character for the sake of killing a character. Exactly, you know, it's, it, it it's, keeps it in touch with us because yeah. we lose people all the time, exactly. unexpectedly, and stuff like that. Exactly. Carrie's back. She yeah. caused a lot of ruckus last season. Yeah. How is that going to affect the family? What's um, well, she you know tries to to interject again, tries to get herself in the mix. And, uh -huh. um, and it actually is a really good story for, um, for Dan because it, it gives Dan a chance to sort of redeem himself um, right. again, you know, in that story and, and oh, protect the, the Scott family unit right, from, right, right, right. from Carrie. And um, so, again, uh, Nathan, you know, he's sort of absent in that, I uh -huh. think, experience with Carrie in this season. Mm -hmm. um, he, sort of, he sort of misses that, but, um, but it's dealt with. What about father and son? Um, closer, Nathan and Dan. I think you know this season. Dan is really he's really trying hard to once again to get close to his family uh -huh. and to um, you know mend the bridges that he's burned. Right. And um, there's a lot of things that he's done. You know, killing Keith obviously. Mm -hmm. that I don't think that Nathan will ever be able to forgive him for. But um, there are also ways that Dan redeems himself in season six that Nathan can't really deny that he's um, you know that he's trying to be a better person.